video we will be studying about the tabular presentation. Now what is tabular presentation? When you classify your data or organize your data in the rows and columns then it is known as the statistical table and that is known as the tabular presentation of the data. So tabular presentation means statistical table is the systematic organization of data in columns and rows so your vertical dissections of table are known as columns means this is your table let's suppose this is your table these are known as rows these are known as columns your horizontal dissections are known as rows whereas your vertical dissections are known as columns. Now let's understand what is tabulation. See, tabulation involves the orderly and systematic presentation of numeral data in a form designed to elidic date the problem under consideration so tabulation refers to the method or process of presenting data in the forms of rows and columns so it refers to the method or process of presenting data in the form of rows and columns whereas table if I talk about then table is the actual presentation of data in the form of rows and columns table is the consequence of tabulation See, tabulation is the process how you draw a table and table is the consequence of the tabulation now let's understand the components of table that what table comprises of number one is your table number see whenever you will see a table in your books you definitely find a table number like table number 2.3 table number 2.4 table number a b so a table must be numbered different tables must have different numbers like one two three so table number is very important the first component of table second goes the title a table must have a title title must be written in bold letters it should attract the attention of the readers the title must be simple clear and short a good title must reveal the problem under consideration that what is the problem the time period of the study the place of study the nature of classification of data which means how you have classified your data so the title should be small precise but accurate third is head note if the title of the table does not give you the complete information then it must be supplemented with the head note head note completes the information in the title of the table so such as the units of the data which means your kgs, lakhs or tons or liters anything so if you are not able to give all the information in the title write it as a head note fourth comes the stubs see what are the stubs these are the title of the rows like what rows depicts you what rows shows you these title indicate information contained in the rows of the table 
fifth comes your caption now caption is the titles of the columns now what columns of the table indicates you are the captions sixth goes body or field body or field means the subject the matter whatever the information you want to concise means the sum total of items in the table then seventh comes is your footnotes footnotes are given for for clarification of the reader these are generally given by when information in the table needs to be supplemented or some more information is to be added in the table so footnotes are given eighth is your source see when you take the table from some secondary source then you have to mention the source of the table from where you have taken that is your publication or public uh, publisher year of publication reference page number etc so you need to write the source in that part now this is the format of table that is your table number number 1 title then head note and then this is the table in which let's say a b c so these are the row headings n x y z n see these are your captions because these are the headings of the titles of the columns and these are your stubs that is the title of the rows so and this whatever it contains the matter that is your body or body of the table so the this is the format of a table and the components of table i hope you like our video please download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us